Okay, we have looked forward to this. Dr. George joins us now to continue his special report on how we do the news. And tonight, you'll meet the uh, in-house professionals who put it all together and get eyewitness news on the air. Tough as it is some days, we get it on the air. Here's George. Get that energy level up because we're going to need it today. All this week, we've shown you how reporters and crews cover stories in the field. But that's just the beginning of the news gathering process. The facts must be written, the tapes edited, and all the stories have to be structured into a show. It is a complicated and very stressful process, which takes dozens of devoted professionals to make it happen every single day. What? Let me hear, let me hear Gillespie one more time. Uh, go back to 2334. Once a story is shot on videotape, it's left in the hands of the news writer. You have to go uh, find the resources to write the stories, whether it be talk to a reporter or find wire copy or make phone calls to police agency. Um, and of course, we have to look at the tape. They launched a satellite and uh, it didn't go up into the right orbit. The writer is then assigned to a tape editor. And based on the video and the facts about the story, the writer and the editor figure out how to squeeze it all into a story that runs anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. We sit with an editor and edit the tape um, to exactly how we, specifications we want it, um, how long we want each shot, what we want to show, and then uh, we come back and write the story to match that so that it all makes sense. We're just going to use 30 seconds of this stuff, the tree giveaway outside of the Capitol, uh, without the governor, and I'll write something about Arbor Day. In TV news, you're matching the words with the pictures. And that's a critical lesson that everyone who comes from print and radio has to learn. And it takes some time to do that. And then at 6.30, I wanted to go with um, the tornado stuff. Yeah, that's a good lead. Each show has a producer who assigns the writers to the stories. And it's his or her responsibility to make sure the show gets on the air, on time, and gets off on time and that all the latest news is in that show. Our live shot is dead. We're going to use the VL. She's sending in the interview. We're always looking to make sure that the 6 o'clock has the very latest okay. and not just with the 4 o'clock. To us, and if you're going to put it in, we're going to need to put it in after 6.30. Okay. It's supposed to start at 6. Get the facts. Get them on the air. If it's that kind of story that people need to know about right away, you got to get it to them. As showtime nears, stress levels rise and tensions mount. You know, it's looking really depressing. There's something going on. Eyewitness news. Everything they can to reduce the amount of chemicals. Jack, how are we doing? Right now, we're doing at the top of this segment. It's got to come now. After the script is written, it's sent to the show via computer. It's also sent to our closed caption encoder for our hearing impaired viewers. The script is broken down and apprentices get to practice their 100-yard dash to the control room, <laughs> much like in the hit movie, Broadcast News. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and... How about you? Good afternoon, I'm Eric I'm Laura Diaz, and this is Eyewitness News. There is another team of professionals who get the news to you. They are the control room team. The director, associate director, technical director, stage manager, and audio engineer. Hello. Pick one. It might be ben the Raiders' biggest three reverse in market. Okay. Yeah, we do want it. In DeVore. Reporting live from Oakland, this is Mark Coogan. Now let's go back to Los Angeles. Take three. Snow Hill. Harold will do it. Put the new stuff in there, and that's why it's... For the more Drop sound. it. James Chiron, stand by voiceover. The more sound, we're coming back to three. 22 is dead. Laura does 22A. We got some great snow stuff coming in. We need a little more time for weather tonight. Start the set. Take it. And I think Mr. Fu is on the endangered species yeah. list. This time the Raiders are going Four, with a double reverse. Three, here on the south two, band, reaction seems to one, be, so what? Sound I was going to show the radar here and talk about it too. Okay, because so. then we're going to have to make a quick switch upstairs, but I think we can do it. 30 seconds. It's only 30. Three off of this, you'll be going back to the two anchors and the remote monitors. I'll tell you about the other one. Yeah, I know, but we're going to have to switch them. I think I know how to do it. Item 32 is dead. 
Uh -oh. So put the T-33 on cassette three. Coming out in seven. Yeah, the six. Stand by camera one. Five, Stand by camera four, one. I need a three. Uh, after, after Dallas' two, name, I need a line. Listen to and Stand by one. Take 52. Up on one. Tomorrow we'll take you where no non-sportsman has gone before. Behind the scenes of our sports department. Oh, no. And last, but definitely not least, a trip to our weather department where you'll see how advanced technology helps us keep you dry, cool, warm, and ready for anything. We did save the best for the last, of course. <laughs> uh -huh. this, was, this was a wonderful segment today because it wasn't exaggerated, and it does, I think, show the tension. I remember once in college having to direct a show, mm. and I swore after that one little half hour I would never do it again. There's so much... Uh, nervous energy going on in the booth. Not one that bit no of one this ever was sees. put on. No. Was, you don't this know is all just the, people, the way it is every single program. All Truly. the people that run down with those scripts are all skinny. <laughs> <laughs> they, they work it. They are you sure you want to go into the sports department? Are you sure you want to go into that cage? He's done it already. We're right. going to try it tomorrow. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, George. That was great. Thanks, George. And the news continues right now with Harold and Tawny.